Hey everybody, this is Mike with Free Roaming Hiker, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Inspiration Point and that Jenny Lake area, which is arguably Grand Teton National Park's most popular trail. Uh, also be discussing how you get the most out of your mileage if you're planning on doing some extended mileage beyond Inspiration Point. Now, the trail itself begins at the South Jenny Lake Junction, which is a very popular trailhead, and you'll see if you get there middle of the day, you're going to have trouble finding parking, so try to get there a little bit early. To access Inspiration Point, you can either take a shuttle across or hike across to Inspiration Point. That's pretty much one of the most scenic parts of the Jenny Lake Loop anyway. Um, so it's definitely well worth doing either on your way in or on your way out. Keep in mind that adds about two and a half miles to the trip. So a lot of people like to shuttle in and hike out or vice versa. Regardless of how you're accessing Inspiration Point, uh, Hidden Falls is a really easy short and sweet spur just to go out and see this fantastically beautiful 70 foot waterfall tucked away in the forest um, it only adds a few minutes to the trip so it's definitely well worth doing and then after that the trail you're going to notice starts to get a little bit steeper it's climbing up a rocky outcropping which essentially is inspiration point so um, it's just a massive chunk of rock uh, the trail starts to switch back up it's a pretty challenging part of the trail, so be ready for that. Uh, occasionally, it's going to pass an overlook once or twice. Um, sometimes people mistake it for Inspiration Point, but you'll know you get to Inspiration Point because there'll be a little sign saying it's Inspiration Point. And then once you finally do get up there, it's, it's a gorgeous, fantastic view uh, overlooking Jenny Lake. You see the entire valley of Jackson Hole. Um, it lives up to its name. It's a really pretty spot. Now, if that's the extent of your hiking, if you want to do three to five miles, head back down. You can take the shuttle back and uh, you can go have a good meal and enjoy, a, enjoy your reward for the good hike. If you're looking to add some miles, maybe you want to get seven or eight miles. While you're there, do an extra mile or two into Cascade Canyon. It is just, the scenery is just stunning and it's one of the most picturesque mountain canyons you'll ever see. The mileage will add up to the Jenny Lake Loop and you'll be seeing way much more mountain scenery and just beautiful peaks and everything else that comes with it. Along the way, Grand Teton, the Grand Teton Peak and Mount Owen uh, are rising just thousands of feet above and you got waterfalls pouring down, um, which makes for just, you know, almost a fairy tale like uh, scene. So definitely worth going up into Cascade Canyon if you take the shuttle in and out, you can head all the way back to the fork of Cascade Canyon where it splits off into the North and South Fork. And that's roughly the same mileage as the loop. That's gonna be about seven or eight miles round trip anyway. So that's something to definitely think about. And if you really wanna get the most out of your mileage, I would say go back into Cascade Canyon. If you have the time or you're back and you wanna you come back and you wanna see it later, do the Jenny Lake loop, it's worth doing but I would definitely put going up into Cascade Canyon far beyond the Jenny Lake Loop itself. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found it inspiring. And if you have any questions, you wanna let me know what you thought of the hike, uh, definitely feel free to let me know in the comments. So remember to like and subscribe and happy trails.